daytime baseball here on MLB Network. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Baltimore Orioles and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And now, your 2000 Major League Baseball on MLB Los Network Angeles is next. Angel. Alex Cobb is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this guy lives and dies with one pitch, and that's that powerhouse sinker. Guys often relate it to like trying to hit a bowling ball. When it's good, it's usually at the knees and below, and he's really easy to figure out if he's going to be on. If in the first inning you see a steady diet of ground balls and keeping his infielders involved, there's a pretty good chance he's going to have a rock-solid game. Into the box, Jumai Jones, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Two balls oh, and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position oh. where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't... One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. The three-one, high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Trout has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting second. And now the starting lineup for the Number visiting 31. Baltimore Orioles. Danny, any thoughts? Matt, I know these guys are looking for better results from Ryan Mountcastle today. Uh, he has really struggled. A struggle is a kind word. He's been terrible with runners in scoring position. He's hit under 200 in those situations this season. And when that's the case, you start to think that maybe it's in his head. I think he's putting too much pressure on himself right now. Next to stand in is Cedric Mullins. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Here's the one and two delivery. Started Three. to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. That Not a hurt. lot of guys throw that the knuckle curve, but some guys six. have a lot of success with Ryan. it. Some say it has more Ryan bite Castle. than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Now to bat, Ryan Mountcastle. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting there's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Top of the first, just underway here at Angel Stadium. Hard hit at third. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. And now the Angels get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Keegan Aiken, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Ball, a ball and two strikes now. The one, two. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Mancini moving back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Batting second. The designated well, here's a hitter. look now at the Angels starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Oh, well, you always have to beware of Mike Trout. He's hit five home runs in his last ten games, so he's got to be oozing with confidence right now. He's the guy in that lineup that these pitchers have to hold down if they're going to even try to be successful. 
Stepping in, Shohei Otani. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. That Set the hurt. table for the monsters. Three, four, five. Mike. Nice piece of hit. Wow. And now for the Angels, Mike Trout having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. Guy does a lot of different things on the ball field. Not only has this guy been a hit machine all year, but he also leads the league in runs scored right now. So you have to give credit to the guys behind him who are driving him in as he's been getting on all season long. Chopper to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front that of him. That's, cool. a, that's all he could do the right third there. Baseman. You know, Diego in a spot Anthony. like that, that's an infield single. Red that's a tough ball. play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. In now is Anthony Rendon. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting box good. here in the first, giving Don't up a couple good. of base knocks on that walk. Yeah. First innings are often some of the toughest yeah. for a starting pitcher. Here's Justin Upton now. He was the main contributor offensively for his team yesterday, driving in both of their runs. The 2-1 home. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Maddie, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set, and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, Dero, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, you like to be able to beat the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. Another foul ball. The next three, two. Another one sent foul. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Man, they've really had his number so that far in this it. series. That's his the fifth baseman. strikeout in this yeah, series man. alone. Whoa. At the plate now, Jared Walsh. Bounce it to the left side. He'll come home with it, and they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He drove in two of their three runs in that ball game yesterday. Count still at one and two. Get back toward the mound. And the Orioles have their first hit of the ball game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle.
Stepping in now, Pat Valaika. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Nobody out, runner on first. Hey. Called strike two. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. To second for one. Back to first, but it's right by him. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Well, when this play started, it all looked good. They get the lead runner no problem, but he just doesn't make the return throw, and the hitter ends up safely at second. Not the result they were hoping for on what should have been a nice double play. To the plate now, D.J. Stewart. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for round number two. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of the pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. To two balls and two strikes now. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. Malika at second with two down. Just hung in there on that one. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throws there at first, so the error doesn't hurt him on the scoreboard as the inning is over. One left for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And now, Kurt Suzuki. and two strikes to the Angels catcher. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is not He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. In now, Jose Iglesias struck him out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got enough. it to bend a lot, and by the, the time right it field. got there, it had Dexter. fallen completely out of the zone. Fowler. Not much you can do with that pitch. Standing in now, Dexter Fowler. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with them. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. The 3-2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. 
That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that no leadoff single into scoring position. Second base yeah, man. Clearly no problems JJ. working out of the stretch right now. Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So the lineup flips over and digging in David Fletcher 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out with the man at first. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. The designated hitter, Johan. Oh, So now to the plate, Shohei Otani. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. <laughs> Sent on the ground out the second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two yeah. gone. Boy, this is a big inning, Brew, and how about back to back to back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the pillows. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch him all on the grand slam. Number 21 for him on the season as the Angels have now opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Oh, man, when he got the second out, I thought he might come out of this unscathed. But after that towering grand slam, he's about as scathed as you can get. Is that a word? Uh, who cares? It is now. Blake now, Anthony Rendon. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. They're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Another full count pitch home. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Justin Upton, the next to hit. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Mountcastle is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. But the damage long since done for the Halos as they get four on the Grand Slam. We've played two. It's now four nothing Angels. Top of the third set to get underway. And up next, Adley Rutschman. 
They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And before we get much further, time for a look at the standings entering play today as you see where the Angels find themselves in the American League West. Striding in is Rio Ruiz. Bases are empty, one man out. And ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Into the windup and the pitch. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. multiple pitches were fouled off it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher so you think say I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it didn't happen they've locked horns here's the next offering Takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batting, second baseman, Jamai. So now to the plate, Jamai Jones. 0 for 1 here in the early going. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Liner towards second. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Number 31. Now to the plate. Here is Cedric Mullins, runner in scoring position with two gone. Ruiz stands at second with two gone. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here comes the one two. I know he missed with a fastball right there but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Count remains two and two.
trying to send him packing for the second time. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Orioles leave one. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. All right, Heidi, thank you. Now at the plate, here is Jared Walsh. Corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. Oh, it just easy. didn't tempt him enough to get the a good catcher. swing. A good Sir. job of pitch recognition just and knowing okay. the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Digging in next, Kurt Suzuki. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's oh, off now. Place. Maybe he gets hot. Two and one to count. Nope. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. The three-one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that'll get over the wall for a ground rule double. And that'll keep runners at second and third now with still nobody out. Hey, it's hard to say if he would have scored if the ball hadn't hopped over the wall. They might have held the runner at third because there were no outs, but who knows? Either way, they'll still wind up with a runner at second and third and still no outs after the ground rule double. To the plate now, Jose Iglesias. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Fouled off. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there. With the two strikes, that elevated the fastball. Field. Every Dexter. hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with Fowler. that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box now. Dexter Fowler. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So it's an early shower here this afternoon as this will not go down as one of his better outings. Cesar Valdez is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. David Fletcher will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Now 
has a look. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Again, a 1-2. Hit out towards second. Reined in over to first, and that retires the side. Angels get just the one. On now to the top of inning number four. Angels lead it 5 to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. Patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. No one on with one down, and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that's low ball four. Now batting. The designated hitter. Pat. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? Liner in there for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he's out on a strong throw. Oh, that was a nice job there in center field to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third. For the offense, that's a killer to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third. Stepping in now, DJ Stewart. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Here comes the one two he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes one left for the Orioles need to get it going soon it's five nothing ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping in the long ball threat Shohei Otani. One one home. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter. And he'll likely do his best to forget about today. 
wrong. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an A. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Count is two and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And that's through for a hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Wow, he must be living right now because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Into the box, Anthony Rendon. Line to the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The left fielder, number 10, Justin Upton. Stepping up is Justin Upton. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now the 2 1. fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy but with the base open it's not the end of the world if you do you still need to make a quality pitch grounder hit hard down the first baseline but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two you can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And Upton will reach as he looks at ball four. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. So here is Jared Walsh. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Trout at second. Upton at first. Two out in the inning. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And he fouls this one off. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Man, that's just painful now for a pitcher right catcher. there. A 3 2 Kirk. offering that was right Good on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. You can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So now to the play, Kurt Suzuki. 
smoke on the ground up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there. Uh -huh. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember, but without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. At the plate, Jose Iglesias hit back up the middle. Galvis towards second, he's got it. On the second for the force out, and the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. On to the top of inning number five we go. Angels are out in front, seven to nothing. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. Now the one and one pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next to Moore, the catcher, Adley Rutschman. So the next to bat will be Adley Rutschman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the 1 2. Scorch to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him. A base hit. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. To the plate now, Rio Ruiz. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They're down by a touchdown, 7 0. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. The 2 1 pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here now the 2 2. Full count now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Count remains full. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. 
now batting the second baseman, David Fletcher. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, David Fletcher. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Two balls, one strike. The 2-1. Hey. Two balls, two strikes. Seven runs, nine hits, one error for the Angels so far. Hit on the ground to third. And there's out number two. Not oh, a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just hitter. ate him up inside Shohei. and gets the soft grounder for the out. Oh, Shohei Otani digging in next. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the speed threat, Jumai Jones. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. Number that can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Standing in now, Cedric Mullins. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, after starting the game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that the single had to feel good six. right there. Nice piece of Long in. No castle. At the plate now, Ryan Mountcastle. No. To two balls and two strikes now. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. He stays alive, still two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box, Trey Mancini hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Mullins is off a of first with two away. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. Hey, I like this right here. Offense putting a little bit of pressure right here yeah, on the defense. It. This game is not over yet. Pass. And if somebody can catch a gap or maybe hit one out, we got a chance to get back in this ball game. We might have something here. Stepping in now, Pat Valenka. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. It's the Angels seven, and the Orioles nothing. Felix Pena gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Mike Trout. Yeah. 
There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. What does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Shot towards first, right to him. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. To the plate now, Justin Upton. To two and two now. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that is through into right field for a single. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone. Gets him to hit it on the ground. But obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. In now, Jared Walsh. Liner towards second. Let this one first in time, and that ends the inning. One hit, one left. We're through six full. The Angels are out in front, seven to nothing. Taylor Cole is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Digging in will be DJ Stewart. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They really got him figured out. So now to the plate, Freddie Galvis. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Drilled on the ground is short. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been struggling. Yeah, the season hasn't gone according to plan, yeah, but he's please. staying pock committed and grind it out a nice knock. At the plate now, Adley Rutschman uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, the bottom fell out of it. Swing and a little blooper to center. Iglesias onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second the out. The third baseman, Rio Ruiz. Up next, Rio Ruiz. He was a double play victim last time around. 
Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. Into the box now, Jumai Jones. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. Fouled away. Galvis over at second. Ruiz on at first with two down. Fouled off. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Working on hanging another zero, the pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. So next to hit is Cedric Mullins. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Two out, bases loaded. Now another one, two, and it's fouled away. One and two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Trout. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. The Orioles leave him loaded. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Last half of the seventh here. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Rounded back up the middle. No problem here. One away. The batter number four. Shortstop. Jose. Iglesias. Leadoff man retired now for the shortstop. Jose Iglesias. One out. Nobody on. Lays yeah, off. Two and two now going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Ground ball sent back up the middle and that'll get on through into center and he's got himself a one out hit. Up next to the Angels. The right fielder, Dexter Fowler. At the plate, Dexter Fowler. And he fouls this one off. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. No Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations base, these days. What makes it so David. effective? I think, Matt, what Fletcher. makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think he can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Stepping in now, David Fletcher. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Angels strand one, and they hold a 7-0 lead. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. The 2 2 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked Up sharp and it backed Warriors. up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, Rain. pitching has become Rain. a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box, Trey Mancini. The ball and two strikes. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. To the plate now, Pat Valaika. One-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Crowd on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down by a touchdown, seven nothing. Sean Armstrong enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. At the plate now is Shohei Otani in his career versus this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Drilled to first. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. The center fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. Ready now for L.A., Mike Trout. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. He's fallen oh, behind now, three and one. Anthony Rendon waits on deck. The three and one pitch. Down the left field line and deep, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Up next for the and digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon.
Here's the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. Now with the plate is D.J. Stewart starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point, but these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on 2 and 2. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And a strikeout here yet again. Been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat in that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. In now, Freddie Galvis. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Full count now. Three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Freddie Galvis is retired, and okay. now they're down to their final the out in this one. Adley Rutschman. Next to hit, Adley Rutschman. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two out, nobody on. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and the Angels have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. A 7-0 shutout final today. The Los Angeles Angels took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Alex Cobb takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Keegan Aiken couldn't work out of the third inning, taking the loss. Taylor Cole takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleszak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. for this afternoon. First for the victorious Angels. Seven runs, 11 hits. One error, they left nine men on base. For the Orioles, no runs, seven hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.